Today we're gonna be talking about five ways to have more fun while playing Call of Duty Zombies. And of course, I'm assuming none of you would ever want to say no to that. And in some way, if you follow these things, they can actually help you become a better Zombies player. AKA, this video is also going to serve as how to get better at Call of Duty Zombies. And obviously, if you're a good player, then these things that I will mention will make your games 10 times more enjoyable. And if you're someone that is having a hard time surviving round 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then definitely check out some other videos link in the description by clicking show more after this and watch those and they will definitely help you out and real quick your guys support has been just oh absolutely love ya and these are just few of the new homies that actually subscribe to the channel and a massive massive shout out to all of you that are watching as well like I don't know who's watching but if you're watching hey massive shout out to you yeah you and if you happen to be new on the channel hey make sure to subscribe for daily content and let me know in the comments so I can feature you in my next video but coming in at number six spot that's right boo boo I got you with the bonus but this is going to be an optional thing that's why I'm gonna have it as my number six spot if you get what I'm saying but this is something that a lot of zombies youtubers would agree with is the fact that when you play zombies and when you stream that and when you have homies to talk with it is always fun because you get to experience something new but I know not a lot of people can stream and that's why I put it up as an optional thing now with streams it's basically multitasking and anyone that streams, talks, uh, and reads chat, obviously they are not fully focused in their game. And the more you do that, your offline games will be way better. In other words, you will be better off a player because obviously you're not talking, you're not distracted, and you will have a lot more room and space, if you get what I'm saying. Like me, for example, I suck ass when I stream, right? Like I don't even have to say shit because you already know, but I'm way better on my offline games, which you could also say I suck ass then too. But hey, here's the catch. I get to mostly play when I stream due to the lack of time I get because I'm always putting my free time into making videos and with videos and topics like these it makes it super super fun to make videos but not only that put it up online and play zombies because it's a different experience each time but of course not many can do that nor wanna do it so that's why I throw it up as an optional thing and another one is obviously switching games and not playing that same thing over and over because no matter how good one thing is it's all is going to fall if you don't change it but coming in at number five spot we have the damn challenges you know those good old call of duty zombies challenges yeah 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 that's what I'm talking about now we have a good wide variety of challenges like you got the good old starting room challenge you got the two box on which is lame I'm gonna I'm gonna be real with you guys but at the same time hey you have that shit too in call of duty zombies but you also got the no perks challenge and hey guess what you could also do the good old no perks boss fight which is not like a good old challenge but at the same time it's like I gotta say that because it sounds fancy right but hey you could do the no perks challenge or no perks boss fight and guess what you're going to be way better off a zombies player if you do that because guess what you're not gonna have any perks you're not gonna have juggernaut so technically you're going to be more aware of what you're doing and you're not gonna be effing around right like uh, without jug and black ops 3 zombies it's a three hit system like three hit you're done nearby like you're gone baby you're gone and no perks equal no quick revive either so three hits you're gone you're done for the whole game nearby you gotta start over and shit like that so uh, you cannot make any single mistake and in black ops 2 <laughs> nearby you dead but no perks challenge is definitely going to enhance your experience and definitely going to make you a better zombies player because every little thing you're gonna do like for example if the papa panzer spawns in obviously you're not gonna try to play with him obviously you're gonna go to the death ray or if you're playing origins then you're gonna be using your frozen water staff and you're constantly gonna be running and if you do that on origins then like mad props and especially if you mix that shit in with no shield then you're effing stretching the shit out of it and good luck if you do that but what I'm trying to say try a different variation try different challenges and you're going to have a lot of fun and you're going to be a better Call of Duty Zombies player but coming in at number four spot now this one is going to be all about changing up your playstyle now don't ask me how many people I know because I know plenty they sit their bum hole down like it's nothing they sit their bum hole they cam the shit out of it I'm like neighbor what you doing man what what, what you doing and everything they say I'm playing man I want to get headshots I'm just like god damn god damn. they will be sitting their bum holes down for a couple of hours and they be saying zombies is not fun and I'm gonna be looking at them and I'm gonna be saying like what and they be looking at me like it's like what what's your problem but change up your playstyle. 
well if you can try to train for a bit if you are someone that trains every single time training at different areas where you never train can technically enhance your experience and can technically make you a better player and can actually just change up everything you do right and if you train a lot also try to camp and play with your friends and chill out and it's really coming in at number three spot now this one is going to be a quality meme now i'm talking about playing with randoms like I don't know how many people really play with randoms but uh I actually played with randoms like a while ago and it seems like I'm gonna be playing with randoms very soon as well but uh play with randoms and do the things that I mentioned in my last video which was just like 10 things a good zombie player do or 10 things a good kind heart and nibba do right so do those things like 10 things and also if you have watched my video where basically I mentioned like 10 things noobs do in zombies so technically if you <laughs> I don't want to like stress that out but if you want to totally be my I guess do those newbie moves and know the f out of your teammates and i'm pretty damn sure you're going to have a lot of fun playing zombies now coming in at number two spot this has to go without saying playing different zombies maps if you're someone that always play the rise and draft hey play some good old transit <laughs> you know what i'm saying or play some zatsubunoshima i don't even know why i'm talking about those maps but hey it's real play different zombies map we have like 21 zombies map obviously counting remaster and original maps as one and also not counting like like the, the farm map and bus depot, uh, everything like that is a different map. So there are 21 zombies maps. Cycle through those maps and also we got Call of Duty custom zombies. If you have Black Ops 3 on PC, then you're basically set on playing. But at the same time, a lot of people actually hate custom zombies and they're like, okay, well, this has nothing. But hey, guess what? Play those maps and laugh on those maps. Basically, it's a good meme. That's how you can have ultimate fun in zombies. But coming in at number one spot, this one is all about speed running the shit out of zombies. And also not to mention the Zombies World Records website and Zombie World Records. Like anything you could do, like flawless world records and everything like that. Now, I, I've done like one flawless record on, uh, well, what's this called? Kino Der Tonin, which was not like the hardest. But at the same time, I was like fully focused. And that was something that I did off stream, which was like, hey, damn it. Like. I actually spent a couple of hours trying to like get that record and basically I got to run 50 flawlessly no gobblegum or maybe classic gobblegum I'm not totally sure I feel like it was no gobblegum on Kino Der Toten just by training and no quick revive none of that crap and I got to run 50 and I was tied at that time when I got it I was tied with the world record holder I technically didn't got the world record but what I'm trying to say here is that they are really fun especially speed runs which actually just lets you want to do everything fast as F you gotta do all the e-strike steps as fast as you possibly can and sometimes the criteria is basically you don't want to have any gobblegum sometimes you only want to use classic gobblegum and sometimes you can use mega gobblegums as well so it's really damn fun but let me know in the comments if you could pick one thing out of this list what would it be drop a number in the comments check out some other videos on the screen if you have missed any of them subscribe if you happen to be new and if you did enjoy this video smash the like button and i'll see you very freaking soon